Hi guys, this is a response to a recent video I saw out there. It was called Atheism is a Plague by somebody called Woods of Jordan or something like that. Uh, I'm a Christian and I enjoy things like science and history and, you know, basically knowledge of any kind. But I really don't like the type of disinformation that makes me and all other theists look like a bunch of blithering idiots. The atheist has invaded our homes, he's plundered our seas, ravaged our coasts, burned our towns, and destroyed the lives of our people. No, 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 no. Uh, given the fact that only about 5% of the people in the U.S. are atheists, get serious. This claim is just kind of bizarre. Atheists have exactly the same right that you do to speak their minds. If you don't like that, if you don't like freedom of speech, hey, move to Iran. You won't have to worry about freedom of speech anymore. Our country was founded on God? No, our country was founded on greed. The English took the example of the Spanish conquest of Central and South America and wanted a piece of the action. Of course, some of the early colonists wanted freedom of religion. In other words, they were running from religious persecution being meted out by other Christians. Our laws are founded on things found in the Bible. Well, actually, our laws were mostly inherited from English common law, which was heavily influenced by Saxon law, you know, those pagans, also by earlier Roman laws as well. Persecution. You know, the, this I'm a victim crap gets a little bit old when Christian denominations make up a majority of the U.S. population. If anybody's being persecuted, it's a right-wing nut bars that value ignorance over education. 1963. I actually go back to 1948 in McCollum versus Board of Education where the Supreme Court found that the use of the public school system for religious classes violated the Constitution. And that was even before this golden age of the 1950s that right-wingers seem to salivate over for some reason. Nothing, repeat, nothing prevents you from praying anytime and any place you want to. What is forbidden is forcing others to do the same, including in U.S. public schools. Teen pregnancies are much lower today than they were in the 1950s. Look it up. Is it still a problem? Sure, but spreading disinformation about it won't help. Sex education? Well, you know, that's, that's best left for another time. Crime? Well, you know, let's look at one crime, murder. According to FBI statistics, murder rates in the U.S. peaked in 1980. They dropped drastically through the 1990s, and now it's at the level it was in the mid-1960s. I'm glad the guy admits that he's not highly educated on the creation evolution thing. You know, I, I admire his honesty on that. But fact remains, most Christians accept evolution, including a number of prominent evangelicals. See my video on the topic, Christians Accept Evolution, for a long discussion on that topic. Creation was believed by many a scientist, yeah true, and some of history's great minds also thought that the sun circled the earth, until clear evidence showed otherwise. Of course, they also used to think that demons caused disease, and I think we've gotten past that point, for most people anyway. True, people accepted the 6,000-year-old earth idea until scientists discovered, well before Darwin was even born, that the evidence clearly showed that the earth was far older than we previously thought. In the same way, evolution was not invented. It was discovered. Discovered by paying more attention to evidence in nature and less attention to the guesswork of Bronze Age philosophers. This proud-to-be-scientifically-ignorant crowd are just embarrassing. They're embarrassing to every Christian who ever did pay attention in science class. Evolution is atheist propaganda. Bull. Absolute nonsense. Take a look at the clergy letter signed by 12,000 Christian clergy who support the teaching of evolution. Kids acting like animals because of evolution. Uh, well, you know, besides the fact that that's extremely insulting to animals, uh, it's also nonsense. You know, if anything, kids learn to have a greater appreciation for science and nature and learning in general when they realize that they have such a close relationship with it. Now, if kids are acting like animals, it's because of two things. One, they're kids, you know, and they do things like that. And second, 
because parents aren't doing their job as parents. The end is near. America's judgment is going to be very great. The end is near. You know, what's with the fear mongering? You know, what what is what I do not understand the fear mongering here. You know, if you got a guilty conscience about something, that's your problem. Don't ask the rest of us to join the paranoia squad. Liberal free thinkers are responsible for abortion. Oh man, you know, this is just about my favorite example of right wing revisionist history. Do a little bit of your own research on the original source documents. Take a close look at Roe versus Wade. It was a Republican dominated Supreme Court that made that ruling. And it was very much in keeping with Republican values and keeping the government off of our backs and out of our personal business. It wasn't until after the Supreme Court case that Republicans started schmoozing for the evangelical votes and their attachment to Roe versus Wade was conveniently swept under the rug. Nobody keeps you from teaching God in your churches and in your home. But remember, you have no right to force your religious views on other people. Remember, it was Christians who instituted separation of church in the United States, not atheists. I will agree with you on one thing, though, that Christianity is in danger in the United States. But it's not from atheists, it is not from free thinkers. If anything, it's in danger because of the Christians themselves. Christianity is being associated with all kinds of anti-science nutters like the Dishonesty Institute, corrupt televangelists, con artists of every stripe, and a media that panders to the uneducated in order to increase their ratings. If anything kills Christianity in America, it will be Christianity itself.